Hey guys, welcome to Film Director Reacts. If this is your first time here, then welcome. So my name is Paul Leach. I am a director writer here in Los Angeles, and I actually directed a feature film. So we're looking at these videos from the point of view of a director. And um, I have an update really quick, some good news. So apparently Dark Horse Entertainment, I don't know if you guys have heard of Dark Horse Comics. They actually have done like Star Wars comics and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, they currently are doing, I think it's the Umbrella Academy on Netflix. They have a Netflix deal and they are interested in one of my TV pilots. So I just found out last night. We'll see what's going to happen. I, what they want to do is they want to actually turn it into a graphic novel first and then bring that graphic novel to Netflix. So uh, it's sort of a long process in the way they do things, but it'd be super cool. I could have a graphic novel out first. Beginning stages. Didn't, don't tell anyone. It's a secret. Shh. But good news. So hopefully the graphic novel will be out and then in a year hopefully Netflix will want to pick it up. Anyways, this is Irene and Solgi Monster. I've had a lot of requests from you guys for this and I think this is Red Velvet. I think one of these girls is supposedly like like the uh, standard of beauty in K-pop I think someone said. But I'm not sure which one it is. Let's check this out and action. I already like, uh, I like that um, distorted, it's either a horn or somebody's voice. It's very brassy sounding. It sounds very old fashioned, kind of like 1920s movie theater sounding. So it already gives it kind of that creepy sound, kind of like you'd have in sort of like creepy movies, that kind of old fashioned staticky record, brassy horn sound or vocal sound that's distorted. So it kind of sets the tone for this. Let's go back a little bit. Oh, it's a... It's a cool, cool thing. Cool set. I'm not really sure which one is which guys, you'll have to let me know. Which girl's cool. Dutch angles. <clears throat> Showing things is off. I think things are off. Really good depth behind here. As you notice, that creates a lot of depth behind her. There's a lot of really fast cuts in the beginning here. It's a cool set. The lighting in the background is beautiful. It's very different though. You notice how the lighting is different here. Whoops. Here as opposed to here. A lot of Dutch angles. You guys notice all those Dutch angles where everything's off? Yeah, there's that, uh, that kind of 1920s staticky, dirty distortion. So really quickly, um, I know I don't talk too much about music, but one thing I really appreciate about this is that there was an actual chorus with a melody and then they're like, I'm a little monster, which is sort of, we talked sort of functionally, their strings, which is sort of melodic, and then there's sort of like the spoken chanting stuff, which is more like brass. So it already gives it a little bit of texture in the chorus. So when you want a good chorus, you always need that string type melody sound. You need that hook. And then to make it even more interesting, you throw in some texture like the spoken words or the rap and the brassiness. Uh, you can have the strings without the brass, but you can't really have a good chorus, which is brass and no strings. This one has both. It's a good song. So good. I like it when they have that light back there. I mean, sometimes they didn't, but just really like, the reason is it creates a, such a separation. You know, I think it was in the uh, Kachi video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. We talked about the lack of contrast and separation from the background, which should have been there. Notice the separation here. You notice how like she is wearing dark, it's light back here, and she just stands out from the background. It creates this contrast. Great. Mm. 
I would have loved for there to be a scene change on that chorus part. Like I would have almost rather this part in the red. Like this part in the red, I wish this would have lasted a little longer and then the switch back would have happened in the chorus. Now oh, that little finger thing reminds me of Red Sun from uh, Dreamcatcher. You remember we talked about instrumental riff before in my breakdown of uh, the Blackpink musically? Um, if you guys haven't seen that, I recommend you check that out. It may make you angry, it may make you happy, I don't know. But what I did is I broke down what makes good music or good songs from a Western ear. And one of the things we talked about is having a riff. And well, that little kind of horn thing is the riff that keeps on coming back. So it has a riff and a strong chorus and good melodic verses. So they just used a new set there with the red and the uh, silhouetting. I wonder if they're gonna add it more. It was cool, I, it'd be a shame if they don't. What'd be interesting here texturally though, I think because they've done so many fast cuts here texturally in the bridge, it'd be nice for them not to cut away as much, but just to kind of move the camera slowly and we stay with them for a second. So it creates a little dynamic difference. So we have cut, 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 fast, fast. Give me a little space to breathe here because the when you give lows, the highs seem higher. Does that make sense? It gives you what you call more of a dynamic range. When everything's up here, it all stays and feels the same after a while. Give me a second to breathe here, and that way you can go back to the fast cuts, it'll, it'll hit me harder. They didn't do it, but it would have been nice if they had. You guys see the high shutter speed? If you want to know what high shutter speed is, you should go back to which video did I talk about high shutter speed and explained it. Blackpink Kill This Love, go back and watch that and you can understand, uh, talk more what high shutter speed is. Those of you who watched it know what I'm talking about, you can see it. You can see it, right? I mean, that was just crazy amazing editing. <laughs> And crazy amazing performance because it's got to match up continuity wise. What can I say about them? Um, like, they're in this unique category. Like, I think Red Velvet's are very unique. Twice seems very cutesy, and there's other groups that are more black, uh, like Blackpink or Everglow or uh, CLC, which are more girl crushy. And uh, there's, this group is so unique. They're in like a category all their own. It's almost like musical theater. Great chorus. Uh, these girls are very dynamic. The choreography was good. I think it worked really well with two people as opposed to a bunch of people. Um, very catchy song. I really like the song a lot. Guys, good job, Irene and Sulgi. Really good. I do wonder though, if you're in a group of, I said four or five, how many, I don't know how many people are in this group, but I would think that if there's half the group is doing something and you weren't in that half, you might feel a little bit bad. So happy for them, sad for the other two, but super good job. So for Irene and Solgi Monster, it's a wrap.